clamps. I spacked them. This freaking trapper is actually pretty freaking heavy. Stevenson out. Where's mine? Where's mine? Still not Phipps? Yeah, Is it Phipps? Not yet. Fuck's sake, Snellbert. Oh, what about my compressor? That's good. I was just using it. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Can you check with uh, Sickle Sonic Stelvich if they're still in existence? I'm not sure, but. I don't know. It'll be just like the quad, fucking. It's totally garbage when I have it, but it'll be the cat's ass when fucking you have it, eh? Hey, funny that. Holy fuck, Nelson. I'd probably put it in first gear. Wow. Holy shit. You are hard on the equipment, buddy. Oh, your new Traptor! Oh, it runs mint all of a sudden. Hey, okay. Freaking right. Oh, you Traptor same. You both chew relentless. Ah! Cranky sarsaparilla, Albert. Huh. It's got an 820 peerless rear end in it, too. The timing chain skipped off and I need a timing chain and tensioner, which is no big deal, but I got struck valves. I'm just gonna do a compression check. Right now the starter, I'm just putting it back on. The connection between the cylinder and the starter it rotted off and so on and so forth. So it was just clicking, but so pretty soon I'll be doing a compression check, find out which ones are struck. Either way I gotta take it off. There's some fucking scoring on the Yeah, well. Germany's not so good no more. It's actually not made in Germany, but there's a, there's Audi parts onto it too. Did you see that? Yeah, I know. That's... Whatever this tube is says Audi on it. This thing says Audi on it. Yeah, a bunch of any parts too. Bunch of what? Any parts. Any? Yeah. What's that? Any Audi? Uh. Anyway, yeah. Buddy. I probably am. Probably... That's enough. Just gonna hammer it? No. It's good. Just hammer it. You're never gonna get up it like that. Put it in. 
put it in 15th gear and just fucking smash that thing up there. Nelbert, what are you doing? Oh, good lord. Oh. Oh, good lord. No. Oh, shit. I'll just go faster. Just drive right up her. What happened? Hammer. See Nelbert? You don't trust me. You don't trust me, Nelbert. You never trusted me. What's this? What'd you find? Tire popner? liquor you been on the liquor today oh buddy just on the pops terrible <gasps> fuck I went to the gas station up here the corner mm -hmm. and fuck man that guy smells like armpits terrible like, as soon as you walk in the door I'm like oh fuck what is that and then I got it because I was like oh my absolute fuck it's like one yeah it's like a brown fella mm -hmm. just fucking reeks man holy shit couldn't believe it Are you going to use these? You should rip them off for me. Yeah, I kind of need those. You need those for what? Brush hog. What the fuck are you talking about? They don't even hook up to nothing. Well, they will. Oh, I apologize. Yeah, eventually I like to just, you know, blast all the shit off. Build the engine. Make it like new again. I'm just using it because the battery's, you know, disconnected and when I pop her down, it's electronic everything. So, twice now I've closed it and not even thinking about it. Not been Which able to get it open? You to get a boosting battery, go underneath, get a little spike, drive it into one of the wires. No. <laughs> Send some power through and click it open. Unbelievable. But, yeah, I just can't believe the amount of fucking work it's put in this thing. I mean, the, the water pump is bad enough. But... Just scrap. Every one of them, every fucking one of them, they fell right here, right? Why? Well, it's just the pressure, right? Like bolt here, it bolt blows here. that plastic out. Yeah, like look how thin it is. Yeah. Right? So the heat and the pressure. You can like build that up or something. That's what I was thinking. Like the other one, the last one I stuck on, what I did is I like I put it on, and then I poured like two whole tubes of JB Weld, mixed it up to, like the whole batch, and just mashed it all over here. So I got this big fucking clump. And fixed it. Yeah, it's been holding ever since. <laughs> and that was the upgraded that was guaranteed not to fail. And all the other, I guarantee you, like I, I took measurements and everything, looked at the molding, the lines, everything. They didn't change nothing. It's the same fucking pump, different uh, different part number. So same with lawnmowers, right? When you get a recall, same fucking part. You just change the part number. Yeah. Yeah, that's like number four. But every one of them, that one spot, because the bolts are too far apart. Mm -hmm. So. What a fucking pile of shit. Holy fuck. Big time. Every aspect of what I'm looking at is just fucking scrap. Like, what, what the fuck is this? This is oil blast into the turbo. That's another thing I got to do. So, turbo way back here, right? It's blowing through the whole fucking system. So, every time I've done the pump, I had to take this off, right? Because it's below it. Mm -hmm. You take it off, I've decarbed the intakes. Like, every time. Every time you take it off, they're like, just little tiny fucking holes. Like, how is it even running? Mm -hmm. This burnt oil through the intake. You can't even see the valves. Wow. So I'm going to have to rebuild the turbo. Decent. All right, I'll talk to you later. Right on, man. Smoke ciggies. <laughs>
Nelson loves his trapper. Loves it terrible. Probably could have got him to suck me off. Wingler, Wingler. I'm just can, can you get a rid of it like selling it? Oh, I'm not gonna sell it. This one's my squizzit. Oh, my new ones. That's quite a setup. I mean, from a gas and Decent. I suspect it. Hours then gonna come. Oh, well, friggin' right. Snell Sapini's pretty happy with him. Strapter that totally friggin' works, no problem. Willy nilly all of a sudden, eh? Okay? I've already soon boosted my application here, right? Like I've already given it a once, once over and a how you doing, and geez, Beanie, squeeze it. Right, I'm just gonna give her a shot of the paints and this and that, but if you'll notice, she's so wore down terrible, right? Along that edge there, it's supposed to be a little bit thick. And then the same with this one too, you can see it's all rolled over and stuff. No good. And really thin, no good. And then this one, this is even better. Oh! This one's even better, boys. Look at that. It's got the brazel, the brazel tack onto it. Can you imagine? Oh, goodness. Not for my squizzit, boys. Uh, no thanks. So, not cool. Got to the rebuilt. And he's like, yeah, we can get the rebuild, kids. Eight bucks. I'm like, okay, send it. And then I'm like, well, wait. What about how much are rebuilt? Marmadukers. He's like 52 bucks. I'm like, oh man. And then it was like, if I got the rebuilt kit, it was eight bucks and it was like Monday. If I got the freaking new Nuda rebuilt Nuda, today, 52 bucks each. Okay, so done deal. We got the stovepipe, the lines, bud. The lines, I don't know. Like, oh. Really? I'm gonna go. But uh, yeah, got the lines on or the flex lines. Still, I still got to do the uh, the uh, hard lines, I guess. I guess you'd call it. I got a little bit of the package. It's even got little dingleberry ends and everything on it. So friggin' right, tree 16 of the friggin' nickel, nickel copper. Hey, the nickel coppers. We'll do a little. We'll do a little better. Whoa, what happened there? Come on now. We'll do a little better job than the derelict operation they got going on here, without a doubt. But uh, yeah, friggin' rights. Decent friggin' peony, boys. Just look onto that. Hey, we're ready to chuck the wheels on. If I can get this, uh, chuck the wheels on, boys, see? Hey? I'll do the friggin' hard line in the morning. Tomorrow we ride. Friggin' rights. But uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's just about her, man. Eh? We're just about ready to friggin' put her full send. I best, uh, I best not forget to do up that. Oh, good grief. I, I do need to do up that. I guess we gotta put on the, the connecting rod or whatever you call it, the stovepipe rod and see, uh, see different uh, stovepipes. But we'll do the brake lines first and then that bullshit's out of the way. Stovepipe that guy on there. Fire the wheels on, we're good to go. Eh? We're freaking good to go, boys. But yeah, other than that, I think uh, I think Nels Peeney's gonna be pretty happy with him strapter. I think it's a good home for that trapter, man. And then I'm just gonna friggin' just bees me into him relentless until uh, he comes and uh, gets mine going. I'm not too sure how it works that uh, every time we get a derelict operation and then we say, okay, well, it's too derelict for Pug One, we'll give it to Nelson Olsen. Works like a friggin' charm. Hey, I think Nelson's got a little fast one up his sleeve, I do. But, uh, any words, boys? I'd be completely cocked without him, so friggin' uh, way she girds us back. But let me know what you think about the old Dana Sinky boys, eh? She's done. We finished it. I mean, she's the brake line, but that's not the fucking axle. It's the fucking brakes, boys. The fucking axle's done, boys. We did it. Yeah, we did. I don't know. What are we gonna make? What are we gonna make movies about now? We don't have it. I'm gonna have to go get another data safety.
<sighs> Friggin' rights, boys. So let me know what you think. Really appreciatory valve. Patreonics, of course. Early vitches. Freaking Sunday fun days. Gritty gritties. All that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, if you uh, if you wouldn't mind, I you should be on that like button there. If you missed some couple of vitches for earlier in the week. But uh, anyways, boys, back my part. And then we cheat here. Go another dick moment. No more. Got the launchers get you.